ma'am, our teachers and achievers and aspiring achievers. So it is often said that uh, an institute is made up of brick and mortar, but here uh, I can see the hard work, dedication of the whole uh, Topper AS team. So a big thank, thank you to the whole team, especially Somu sir, then uh, Gangadhar sir, Shaila ma'am and Shanta ma'am. So uh, a round of applause for it. My experience with the institute started uh, during the interview stage. Uh, then uh, sir had taken a session on the DAF. So I think that was the most important session that uh, I couldn't afford to miss because he had dissected the, each and every part of the DAF. He made sure that each and every detail is uh, told in a proper way. And that uh, really came out in a very positive way during my interview, in the interview as well. Then coming to the mock, mock interview, so, ma'am had taken and uh, Vishwanath sir had also taken my mock interview. So, uh, what all things ma'am had told, I just did the same thing and the interview also went the same way. What she had told is that uh, the interview stage is just like a game of football and you have the ball. How you play with the ball, the, the interviewers also play the same way. So, as ma'am had taught us how to link uh, each question with the answer and the Next question will be linked to the previous answer that you gave. So, I used the tool very effectively and that really helped me. Thank you very much, ma'am, for that. Uh, so, and then uh, I really want to thank uh, Shaila ma'am for the social support that uh, she used to give, give in, the institute, in the institute here. And then uh, Gangadhar sir for his uh, current of his classes. Uh, uh, whenever I look at Gangadhar sir, uh, it looks like a plethora of uh, case studies, examples and all. Because any issue or uh, any, any topic, he'll have a case study or example at a local level, national level and at international level. So definitely I fall, I'm following the same steps for and imitating him for my UPSC preparation as well. Uh, so yes, now let me speak about the other part of the preparation. So the most important part of the preparation is the syllabus, whatever uh, because that is what we have got from the uh, KPSC or the UPSC. So your first duty must be looking out in the looking into the whole syllabus, dissecting it into different topics, finding the right sources, mapping them to the syllabus again, and then uh, using the current affairs and whatever is happening in and around you and connecting it back to the topic. Once you have done that, this is the first stage. The next step is uh, putting all those into your in the test. So. You should be writing good number of tests at all stages. So prelims also you have to or uh, give n number of tests here. The mains as well because uh, uh, at the end of at the end of the day it all uh, boils down to how well you write in the examination. So the more you practice, the more efficient you get and uh, more confident you will become in the examination. And uh, even for the interview as well, uh, more mock interviews you attend, uh, you get lot of other perspectives. Uh, so it's very important to know all those things. So, at all the three stages, uh, the static syllabus as well as the current affairs plays a very important role. So make sure that you uh, have, uh, make sure that you have the right uh, books, the right sources, and the right uh, uh, materials, and uh, move move ahead with more hard work. So along with that, uh, be a bit more smart as well because not only just hard work helps. Uh, wherever it's possible, uh, play smart. Uh, for example, uh, you can't carry your uh, books everywhere. So I make online notes for current affairs. So that is one of those ways. And uh, uh, for the interview stage, uh, you, you actually start your preparation from the day when uh, you decide to uh, take up the examination as well. Because uh, some of the questions for me in the interview, ma'am, uh, they were, uh, they tried to uh, put me in a very difficult situation. But then since I had, uh, had this, the, I carried the same attitude throughout my journey. So I connected it back to the constitution. What is there in the constitution? What is there according to the law? So it helped me sail through the whole process in a very positive way. So always abide by the constitution. Uh, have an, uh, what okay, I can say, a neutral political ideology. Don't be bent towards any ideology. Uh, have an open mind. As uh, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa says, let knowledge come from all sides. Gather knowledge from all sides. Take the good, reject the bad. So with this, Work hard, be smart, uh, and um, for all the achievers, as Sir pointed out, uh, now uh, in the ethics we have learned the concept of sympathy, empathy, and compassion. So they taught us sympathy in the classroom, the topics. Uh, we applied empathy in the case studies and the paper. Now it's the time for us to show be compassionate and be helpful to the society. 
So let's be more compassionate uh, in the ambit of the law itself. Uh, let's be compassionate. Let's help the society to make uh, a, uh, India a better country to live, make a world a better place to live, and also, and uh, and our order also. Let us try to inspire others. Let us try to inspire more aspirants so that uh, we'll create a better world. Thank you. 